As a senior thinking back on the formative experiences of my education, it wasn't the lectures or the classes I took. It was the opportunities to take ownership over an independent project and pursue a single idea. These experiences cemented my love of learning in the process of discovery. That passion is what we built into the foundation of this course and what I want to give to every student. Hi, my name is Sam Shames and I'm a senior at MIT studying material science and engineering and I am the TA for 3039 Passion Projects in Material Science and Engineering. And I'm Jeff Grossman and I'm a professor in uh, the Department of Material Science and Engineering and the professor for the course uh, that Sam is the TA for. Passion Projects in Material Science and Engineering is the chance to find the thing that you are so excited about you can't stop thinking about it and then learn as much as you possibly can about it to become the expert who can teach your peers and the world. Hi, my name is Jordan and my project is reinventing the squash ball. My project that I want to work on is modifying a football helmet to make it safer and uh, combat concussions. I'm working on creating physical three-dimensional um, displays of information. Well, I am trying to develop a material that changes shape and color just like an octopus can change its shape and color. And my idea is using nanotechnology to increase the grip or adhesion on sporting equipment. My project for this class is to reinvent the blood pack for actors so that they can actually get cut on stage. For our project, we are working on making a piezoelectric shoe. And I'm working on making fast food out of vegetables and other healthy ingredients. And the project I'm trying to do is making a 3D printer that prints chocolate. We come in and we say, well, what's your passion? Uh, what, are you, what, what gets you excited? OK, let's take that and let's understand the material that is at the core of that. For this project, I learned everything from scratch. I had no idea uh, what a PID controller was or what a thermocouple was. Once I started working on this project and looking at, oh, I need to understand magnetic fields really well. I need to look at how they interact with the particles. Then going to 802 and being in physics class was so much more interesting. So, oh, like, I'll be able to use that in my project. I'll, now I understand that. What's been most exciting for me in this class is how I've witnessed the students begin to really believe in themselves and in their ability to do this work. Sometimes I'll just be going to bed and I'm so passionate about this project and I've been so struggling so hard and I just like want to give up. I'll be lying in my bed and I'm about to fall asleep and I'll have this like amazing idea. And I'll think, okay, I gotta go do that now. So I'll get out of bed and just like go and start working on the project and think about new innovative ways. And because I'm so passionate about this project, that persistence kind of comes in and I don't give up. We have driven these students and they have responded to do, right? To get into the lab and literally in the first week do. Use their hands, make measurements, uh, feel the materials, understand the materials. And it turns out that a lot of understanding is, is gained in parallel as you try the experiment. It's hands-on. It really lets me uh, just kind of get started. And I didn't expect that by getting started I would be learning. Although it's not required that I work extremely hard on this, if I personally don't, then I'll see it in my results. When I actually got started, the real world was a lot different from the theoretical. And so it's very insight insightful to actually get hands-on to start making something, go in the kitchen, go into the lab, and start playing around with it. I'm a strong believer that if you do what you're passionate about, you're going to be more productive, you're going to be more successful, and you're going to learn better because you want to learn it. This is the future of residential learning at MIT and really in the world. It's where you bring a group of people together and you have them work on complex problems in an environment where they're immersed and they're learning from each other and they're you having access to tools that they couldn't have elsewhere. As opposed to my other classes, while they're important, it's just really you read a textbook, you learn, take an exam, and it's just like information that goes in the back of your head. But in this class, I'm actually applying the things I know and actually building something tangible. The idea that we have to plan out everything and keep ourselves on track makes it in a way more challenging than our other classes where everything is more structured and we just sort of you know, follow the path. I would describe this class as more of a, like an awesome experience where you get to explore your passions and get inspiration from everybody around you and talk to professors and get access to all these incredible resources here. It's about creating conditions where groups of people can get together around big questions and 
just when you do that and it's in the right environment, learning emerges spontaneously where they just all of a sudden say, okay, I'm gonna look do this and I'm gonna do that. And then they report back to each other and share ideas. And you know, that's the magic of MIT. This class is really about posing the question that you want answered and finding an answer to that. This is a new experience for me. And I think it's important and I think that the earlier we implement it and the earlier we put project-based learning in our schools, the better they're going to be and the more efficient and entrepreneurial workers we're going to have. It's something that you know, you're excited to do. You know, you, the work isn't you know, burdensome, it's not something you have to sit there and like, worry about. It's something that you get to be really passionate really excited about and just have a blast. I can do a project that I'm passionate about and this is something that I'm really truly passionate about. It's just so cool. It actually, that's like the only word that I can use to describe it. It's just, it's so cool to be like getting started and uh, to imagine what the final pro product will be. Really part of our job is just to enable these students, even the freshmen who have just come in, to enable them and let them go, right? And, 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 and they go, right? And they do these things on their own and they learn on their own in ways. And, and we of course are providing help um, but it's really, um, it's sort of more about not holding them back. What's been most exciting for me in this class is how I've witnessed the students begin to really believe in themselves and in their ability to do this work. Where at the beginning, it was really me selling them. You guys can do this. You can change the world. Dream big for your project. What has been outstanding to watch has been as they've really really internalized that lesson and really begun to take ownership over this work and drive it forward themselves. What's even cooler is the fact that we're freshmen. Um, everyone in this class, we're doing amazing things and we're, we still have three more years.